It's fun to deck the halls for the holidays, but it's hard to create that perfect holiday atmosphere when there are so many decor options or you're trying to stay in budget. Now, whether you're stuck in a decorating rut or you haven't even started yet, HGTV's Open Concept hosts, Ashley Turner and Whitney Gaynor, are here to help us. Good morning, you guys. Good, Good morning. morning. We're happy to have you on and, and help us out here. The holidays are all about family. What are some of the easy ways to create that warm, fuzzy feeling with our decorations? Christmas is all about families and we could not agree more. One thing we love to do is build things. So today we have brought along a really cute, simple planter box that we built with a few pieces of wood. We've added some candles to it, some simple ornaments, and right there you have a very inexpensive decoration for Christmas. It really warms up your house. And another easy way to bring in that warmth during the holidays is with some texture. And we love to throw a textured throw over a couch or a chair, and we like to fold them up and put them in a basket underneath the coffee table. So it's functional and cozy. I like it. All right, help us out with the tree. What are some tips for choosing and then trimming the best looking tree? Yeah, so the biggest thing that you need to take into account when you're picking the tree is the size of your home. So if you've got tall ceilings, go ahead and go with a tall tree. If you're limited on space and on budget, a great way to maximize a tree is by putting baskets. We've got two baskets that we flipped upside down and put a tree on top. It's a three to four foot size Christmas tree, but it gives the effect of a five foot tree. And less tree is less decorating. Absolutely, I love that tree. Gorgeous. All right, so what are some popular <laughs> what are some popular themes you've seen this year, and what's the quirkiest? Well, the themes here are pretty crazy. We've been going up and down the aisles, and it's so neat to see. There's been Victorian beach theme trees in every single color. We've seen upside down trees, which is really fun too. Yeah. But we say like with trend and styles. Just go with whatever fits your family, and you're going to be happiest with that if it's your style. Okay, and obviously most of us, we're worried about our budget. So how can we make the maximum impact during the holidays with the minimal budget? Yes, that we are always thinking budget friendly and one of our biggest pieces of advice is to think evergreen, literally, like think of things that will last all year long. So the lantern is a great example of that. We purchased a very inexpensive lantern, filled it with ornaments. It's perfect for Christmas. Take them out after Christmas. We can fill it with candles. I mean, when fall rolls back around, we could even put pumpkins in it. It's really an evergreen piece. And we like to use like burlap rib ribbon. A spool of it's really inexpensive and you can wrap it around the tree. It takes up space and then we've made a handmade bow with the same ribbon on top of that. And we also like to use big ornaments to take up space. You just buy a few of them and it makes a really big impact. But uh, you're going to find the right budget and the right style that fits your needs at the store. Ladies, thank you so much. And is there somewhere we can go for more tips and information? Absolutely. You can check out athome.com to find the local store for you. And you can visit our website, shantytochic.com, to, to check out more tips and tricks. Whitney, Ashley, thank you so much, and happy holidays. Thank you. Thank Merry you. Christmas.